Hi guys, welcome back for another one. I am Mr. Free to Play. That is right, I'm a free to play player and I give free to play player advice, tips, tricks, and other things. We are gonna open up 64 Ultimus Orbs, guys. In this episode, I'm not really fishing for anything particular, except we're gonna try to see if we can get ourselves a six star Ultimus in this orb opening. Plus, I'm gonna talk about the Orb Avalanche, and if you guys don't know what that is, I'm gonna give you guys a great big reminder. I did some deep diving into the archives to find all the information for you guys in case that event returns this year, which I fully expect it to do. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Alright guys, before we begin here, let's talk about the Orb Avalanche milestone event that happened in 2019. Now, I do believe in less than three months we will be getting this event again. It's basically an orb opening event. And no, the snow globe that you see in this photo is actually a, a byproduct of this milestone event. They gave us fragments to the snow globe orbs that opened up and gave us more character shards and all other and other types of goodies. So around Christmas and New Year's last year, guys, they did a lot of player friendly events, an orb opening, and then there was a New Year's celebration orb that gave out some really good stuff. And with new bottleneck gear coming, I believe it's gonna be featured in these orbs and that's why I wanna make sure that I'm prepared for them. So first off, how did the scoring work for this event? Well guys, there were 15 orbs that scored for this event. So if let's start with the highest point ones first. Mega orbs were 25 points. Ultimus orb was worth 20 points. Gold orb was 10. Orange gear raid orbs were 10. Premium orbs were 10. Red stars were 10. Training and ability orbs were both worth 10. Legacy orbs were five. Purple gear raid orbs were three. Kingpin vault orbs, blitz orbs, blue gear and braid orbs were all two points and basic orb was worth one point. And that's how that milestone scored. So there were a total of 40 milestones and you needed a total of 3,650 points. And I am expecting this to start around December 23rd as that's about the time it started last year. And that brings me to why I am cracking open Ultimus Orbs today because I want every Ultimus Orb from now till then to be saved up for this event to help me score some points. So like I said in my previous Orb opening video, I will be saving some types of orbs just for this event. And like I said, if the date rolls around, and this milestone event doesn't happen, no big deal, I just pop them all open then. And just a warning, if you are someone who needs these resources inside these orbs, do not hoard them as you could be sacrificing a lot of gain in this game and not really getting much in return as since some of the rewards are for later game players, it won't benefit you now, it'll only benefit you later and you still need to go through that content that you're currently working on. So please use caution with saving. All right, guys, so this is an orb opening, so we got to add a dollar to the giveaway. And this one is simple. If I can get a six star Ultimus in this orb opening, which should only take one or two times of him dropping in the middle, and they just increased the drop rates, so he should pop more than once or twice. If not, just bad RNG, and that's my luck. But like I said, if we get him to six, which is 156 shards that I need, I will add a dollar to the giveaway, and without further ado, let's get cracking. Now I'm gonna to try to move a little bit faster through these orbs. I might hear a little oohs and ahs, like that one's a duh. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're gonna keep going, making myself laugh. All right, Rocket, another one, another maxed out character. Like I said, we're looking for the exclusive ones. That is an Ultimus, that is a 50, that is pretty much done. I'm pretty sure, guys, we are getting the six star Ultimus. And that was an increase that, that they've changed. Like I said, that was not much possible. Another repeat, I have not got a character I really need. Now, almost every single character in the game is represented in the Ultimus Orb. Right now, I'm getting a lot of seven star dupes, which is a recycling process, not bad. I'm not gonna complain until I have a seven star Ultimus. And then I'll probably start opening up the gear orbs versus cracking open these orbs, because these have all been dupes. It's like legacy orbs right now. Oh, like just legacy orbs, straight up legacy orbs. Like I said, got a bunch to get through more. Another character done, like they're all repeats right now. And that is all, yeah, he's definitely going six. He's gonna be almost done to seven at this point. Like I said, they increase the drop rates. I guess it's just to get us done with Ultimus faster. So people start recycling into the gear orbs, which will help us get to gear tier 14 faster. Not really gear tier 15, because like I said in the intro, there is a new, as data mine, there is a new gear coming, oh my goodness. <laughs> there is a new gear coming that is going to be exclusive to take characters from 14 to 15 so yeah it's going to be what it is guys oh i'll take a sinister i took a call before that i did notice that call i was my thought process is way off mysterious another character's done most of these characters are done 
Um, I'm gonna be curious to see how many of these characters were done compared to how many I actually need. As I'm pretty sure the ratio is gonna be lopsided here. And, and the, the scary thing is that not even half my roster is at max stars. So it's weird that the characters that are max stars are the ones that keep dropping. I'm pretty sure every character is represented in this orb. As far as I know, they're represented. I mean, I don't know if minions are in here yet or not. I have not seen a minion drop, but like Ant-Man, like he's done. It's the second time he's dropped. Yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know if you think these orbs are rigged or not. I mean, that's Sif. That's the second time I've seen her. There's over 130. Oh, Cyclops. There's over 130 characters in this orb. You can't tell me that the same characters that are legacy characters drop more than others. It's supposed to be an even drop chance, guys. Even drop chance. Oh, I'll take Corvus. Uh, so that's pretty well mine. I'm currently farming her, so I'll take more of her. Rocket, another repeat and get second time he's dropped. No more big drops of Ultimus. We had it there in the beginning, but it's kind of going sour on us and Vultures the second time. There's another Ultimus. I said his name and he popped. We definitely got the six. You guys are definitely getting the dollar. I may wait on the graphic though. Thank you for dropping a beast. I love seeing new characters drop. X23. That's a big score right there. X23 is the one because one will save me on war credits and war credits are pretty much the premium currency of the game. I don't know if you can make an argument that another one's more premium than war. I mean, I'm sitting over with 70,000 war credits right now. So you think that I'd have some spend them on them, but I'm currently just waiting to see what they do with Dark Dimension 4. If the new, whatever the gear piece is, I don't know what they want to call them. Oh, Negasonic. Um, I'm waiting to see what they do with them. If they add them to the war store or not, because having all this credits saved up, not only are they helping me get X23 farmed up, but they could help me get that gear, get me into Dark Dimension 4 at a pretty quick pace is what I'm banking on. Uh, could be raw mystique, could repeat. But yeah, that's what I'm banking on and that's what I'm going for, guys. All right, we are getting down here. We got, oof, still got quite a bit. These orbs do take a while to crack open. I'm like I said, I'm cracking them, trying not to stop. Oh, uh, my time looks pretty good. So we're not too bad on time. Like I said, most videos for YouTube algorithms need to be at least 10 minutes long or a little bit longer. My, my average is around 12. So I have to like try to keep that number up, which can be difficult at times. It can be very difficult at times. Uh, I try not to have too long of videos. Uh, that's one thing I do try to prevent. I don't know why I'm talking about my video and like I'm watching these characters pop open that are already maxed out. Jugs, you're maxed. You know, you know what? This should be a drinking game. Every time you pop a character in Ultimus Orb, like save up a bunch of them. Every time you pop a character that you already have maxed out, take a, take a drink. And if you're kids, drink soda. <laughs> Hopefully there's no kids watching me, but uh, I know there are. It's, it's inevitable, right guys? Inevitable. Even though I try to keep my content as clean and friendly and family friendly as possible. Thank you, Electro. I'm now even starting to see some more of the newer characters. So I, I was bashing on this. Thank you, Black Widow, for reminding me to bash on you again some more. Yeah, so it was bashing on earlier, but there are a lot of newer characters I'm starting to see pop out. Now Groot is a repeat done. Now they're ultimates. Wow. They really upped him. Like I've done these orb openings for Ultimus before and Ultimus has never dropped a 50, 15, or like it's usually rare he drops at all. And I've seen him multiple times. So you can tell if you tell they jacked up this drop rate. I think it's to get players done with Ultimus faster. I Honestly, I think the devs have given up on Ultimus. I don't know if they're ever gonna do anything with them other than let him be the, I mean, he's kind of a mediocre character. Not, I wouldn't say he's total trash, but definitely not useful, especially how late most players get him they're already past the stage where he would be useful for them. Oh, come on, Kingpin. You're not supposed to drop. I was trying to save Kingpin to like last. So if I ever have to open up those Kingpin vault orbs, if he drops, not big deal. So I still need to max him out. But of course he wants to drop into this orb. And this is the last one. All the other ultimate credits are carrying over for the orb avalanche event. Ooh, almost forgot its own name. Storm, I'll take Storm. So let's see how many characters. Uh, definitely, 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 definitely have gotten that a six star Ultimus and he's pretty decent on his way to seven. So I'm pretty sure when I do Orb Avalanche in December, uh, Ultimus will be finished at that time. All right, Ant-Man, repeat, that's one. Rocket, oh, when I say repeat, I meant maxed out already. So that's, let's see what comes with a different name. We're just gonna call it Max. Ant-Man, Max. Rocket, Maxed. Sif, Max. Crossbone, Maxed. Daredevil, Maxed. Iron Fist, Max. Spider-Man, Max. Mordo's, Max. All right, so awesome is not. Not even close. A Luke Cage max, Nobu max. Okay, we're up to 10 now. 
Uh, definitely 30 of him is awesome between you know, star level. More on Sinister, like I said, the more I don't have to farm Sinister with war credits, the more happier I'm going to be. I do feel like he's going to have a lot more value for me in the near future with the new challenges coming up, depending on how they rig the challenges. Sometimes they like to take whatever's meta and make an anti-team against that for the challenges to make people be more cre creative and level up a different character that works on a strategy. So I don't know if they're going to come up with a counter for Sinister like opponent or if Sinister is actually going to be pretty meta for the new challenges. Only time will tell when the whales get in there and do their thing. But I do have a feeling he might get a lot more use and be a lot more valuable in the, here in the newer challenges in the future. Don't get me wrong, he's valuable now and everything like that, especially if you're coming up through and you're a new player. Uh, he may be able to do a lot of things faster, just not a whole lot of reporting on him yet. Uh, Mysterious Max, I think it's 11. Venom Max, 12, 13, 14, yep, 15. All right, we're the 15. Colossus is a new one. Uh, Shocker, 16. Oh, you're a new one. Oh, you need to get ranked up. I am waiting until Emma rolls around again to rank up any characters, so every character just staying where they're at because we're going to run out of training material again. Science of Supreme, one of them currently farming, so I will take that 30. Beast, one of them currently farming. Like I said, we're getting the newer ones here that I don't have maxed out. Uh, X23, just keep adding to her. Just keep adding to her. Quakes, Max, that's 12. Negasonic, awesome. Mystique, 13. Mr. Fantastic, you're not maxed. Nebula, are you maxed? Nope, you are not maxed. Don't farm Nebula. Mega Chavez, not. Uh, Miss Marvel's 14. Jugs is 15. Human Torch, not done. Swarm, definitely not done. War Machine, are we on 16? I think we're on 16. I'll know in editing if I did this right or not. Groot, 17. Green Goblins, 18. Night Nurse, you're not done yet. Not done, not done, not done. Not done. So 18 characters out of how many? So 45 characters, including Ultimus. So actually not a very bad ratio to characters maxed out to not. So it actually does represent what my current roster stance is currently. And here you can see how much recycling went straight to an Ultimus Orb. So I'm already starting out with 10 for the Orb Avalanche. And there's your guys' dollar to the giveaway jar. Now, I will not be ranking up Ultimus until Emma's event rolls back around, and then I'll spend the gold at that point. But he already has 134 towards a 7 star. Like I said, I'm pretty sure by the time December rolls around, he's going to be guaranteed 7. And then I'll have to make a decision. Do I keep cracking up his ultimate orbs for the dice roll that I get a newer character that will help me get shards of them? Or do I start turning towards gear? I don't have to make that decision today. But I will have to make the decision in the new year. That's I can almost bank on that. With that said, if you guys enjoyed me diving deep into the Orb Avalanche, going into the archives to get the information for you guys, give me a thumbs up button. If you're new here or have not done so already, hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any Orb opening videos or any other deep dives that I do, do not forget that notification bell. And with that said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Not a whole lot here. I'm already disappointed that a gold drop is for only for a five star character, or yeah, five shards of a character, which sucks, to be honest. So, but let's open up and see what we get. Hopefully we get something good. I'll take all greens. I really don't want a gold drop here, to be honest. I'm already nervous about opening these up in this spot.